Think about it. An individual goes on testosterone. Is there a level as to how much muscle they could put on? I mean, there's probably a yes. genetic cap. Right. But if someone then adds additional anabolic agents, like we're seeing in the enhanced games, is there a cap for the amount of muscle that they would be able to put on? There might be a cap, but it's still super physiologic. Right. This is very interesting stuff. Well, it's interesting because there should be a level of, again, we are talking about health and wellness and should you go on testosterone or not. If someone is low, they're hypogonadal, I believe that they should be able to be replaced. I am not concerned about the risks. I think the benefits out, outweigh the risks. Now, if we're talking about someone who is using agents to enhance performance and enhance physique, you are going to arguably trade risk for performance for vanity. Testosterone is a brain hormone. Yes, it also works on muscle and fat and all these other organs, but it's a brain hormone. Absolutely. So, um, so one thing that's interesting is that is far. So the question comes up: If somebody who doesn't have low testosterone takes testosterone, what's going to happen to them? It's, great question. Yeah. So this. <laughs> sorry, I didn't mean to take you. Wonderful. No, no, you're doing but great. It's related. Yeah. Forgive me. Forgive me. Uh, but, please. But um, yeah. But this is part of because uh, we have all kinds of people that listen to the show. And let's say a woman is listening for her husband and she's concerned that her husband is on testosterone right. or that he doesn't need it. Right. 